Hey, Darren. How you doing? Hey, good. <laughs> I can tell this is your first video you've ever taken. <laughs> it's not the first. <laughs> you sure fool me? <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> so is this your first time ever at Gen Con? No, I went to 2011. Oh, you did? Yeah. You didn't go last year? No, I didn't go last year. Oh, you should have went last year. You could have bought some of my books then. <laughs> well, I bought them at Eric's house instead. <laughs> That's even better, right? Right. <laughs> and Eric. Uncle Bunga. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, Uncle Bunga. This is the first time you've been to Gen Con in, what, three years? Yeah. Three years. Three years, yeah, because we needed you to display that you could count. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what are you planning on doing this year at Gen Con? Well, I'm going to a couple of dance lessons, the waltz and the swing dance. I'm playing Monster Apocalypse tomorrow. I'm helping some really weird guy sell books. I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just, I am. But how did you get roped into that? I, I don't know. I think... Yeah, I, I think... Do I have a card for Mad Hatter? <laughs> uh, let me see. No, I don't. I don't see anything unless he's been. You know, he can like plant them sub. You know, under the skin now, so it's subdermal, which you think would be a smart idea to do, but you know. Well. <laughs> We won't go where I want to go with that. Uh, okay. Well, what are you planning on doing, Darren? Heroscape all the way. Uh, oh, my gosh, because you were, you were the Heroscape god, aren't you? Well, You're like every Valkyrie in Heroscape were all rolled into one. Oh, it, in my group that I play with, I'm pretty good, but compared to people from all across the country... Uh, in 2011, I think my record was about 50% uh, <laughs> wins and losses. So, but I'm back this time, having learned a whole lot from last time. I'm bringing my A squads instead of my B minus squads, and I'm ready to um, kick some butt. Welcome to Gen Con Day One. All righty. So now we're just making our way there, and we've got. Eric over here trying to be Mr. Sulu or check off one of them and we're not quite quite sure how good his navigation skills are are we Darren uh, no but he has navigated us behind this lovely piece of junk right in front of us who knows what it is who knows where they're going but it's a piece of history check it out well that rather haphazardly put a strapped onto there so one wrong move one good bump one good speed bump and we're becoming furniture <laughs> or at least home decor yeah very grisly home decor dum yes. dum bike ready no plants off, dance off. Just members only jackets and gadgets we use for magic. I like your lager binder. I got my colo vinyl. My girl Lafonda knows I wanna be a cage fighter. Better put the word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. Better bring necks on. I cut handsome checks for my expansion sets. They call me Obi Wan. Act like you know me, son. Y'all, it's on. Toss the baton. Comic Con with a costume on. Dress just like Lord said. Yeah, sword on, you're all dead. So James T. Kirk, it hurts me. USS Gurley's curtsy. Cling on, ladies. Cling on, baby. My phasers on safety. Fitted with a stick for Quidditch. No, I never stole that snitch. Got acquitted. R.I.P. Cedric Diggory Looks like Edward's bigger B I got my Twilight Nightlight 12 sided die for my fight night King of the RPG Boots of escape and the cardigan piece Okay, so So don't get me wrong, I love Peter Jackson I already, I already said that And I think that the Lord of the Rings trilogy Will go down as three of the greatest movies ever made But okay, I think it stinks It really cheeses me off that Tom Bombadil wasn't in Fellowship of the Ring at all. And I think it's important because he, because he wasn't enticed by the ring. Like, he put the ring on, he didn't disappear. And when, he's, when Frodo put the ring on, he could still see him. Like, it didn't matter to him. Is that, uh, am I the only one that, he, that, gets, that gets that? Heath, I think we should see other people. Uh, better put the word out. Day two. 
Hey, true believers. I just wanted to show you that uh, this year at Gen Con, my booth was right in front of the autograph area. Now it's hard to see, but over there is Peter Davison, a.k.a. the Fifth Doctor, and I think Walter Koenig. I'm not sure if he's there right now or not. Better known as Chekhov or Bester, depending on which show you watch. So this entire weekend, I have been pretty much within spitting distance of all of them. So even when I'm not going over to see them for autographs, I have been able to take a gander at them all week. I just thought I'd show you because it's quite astonishing to be this close to greatness. Sleep deprivation goes with cons. <laughs> Adrenaline is a wonderful thing. It is a wonderful thing. I am living free. Yeah, yeah, you can shut up, Darren. He who had the <laughs> cheapest Heroscape <laughs> army ever. Riddle me this, Batman. I'm not Batman. I'm Superman, Superman today. Well, you couldn't out-riddle the Riddler, all right? You know, as a Starfleet officer, I'm used to not getting much sleep. Yeah, but that usually involves Klingons and the boar. Yeah. You plan on seeing many of those today? I saw some Klingons yesterday. Well, folks, pray we survive. Gen Con! Hello, sir, what is your name? My name is Ian Phipps, and I'm going to be selling Rubik's Cube. Go for it! I didn't ask to be gifted when I'm kicking it with Kid Icarus. I'm victorious, so I won't play it all. Won't take a loss, I won't push pause. I'll turn the game off. RBI or Techno Bowl or bases loaded, it's game over. Never gonna be intimidated. Innovative is my middle name. A legitimate claim, I'm bringing the pain. Call me Top Gun. I hunt ducks with a shotgun, not a pistol. You're pitiful. I'm Robocop, that's literal.